so pretty late tonight um, got busy with stuff and here we are 11 28 p.m um september 7th saturday 2024 and yeah messed up got late again uh after a few days of almost perfect sleep of eight and a half hours and today here we go again <laughs> life i suppose but yeah I i'm still a bit happy about this week i've been I've been able to hit very good sleep numbers at least for two to three three days this week which is like better than pretty much anything I've done so far um, at least when I wasn't I mean I haven't targeted eight hours um, until very recently but still this was great week for the eight and a half hours almost eight plus hours sleep I've had like for two or three days this week so great but tonight yeah messed up again um that's it today was a great day got my run in got my steps in got my uh pull-ups and push-ups i took a break from it today and didn't do the core either um today was just took a break from that uh, because i realized i need to um hold myself back a bit with that because i end up i have this right shoulder pain that pops up when i overdo it and if I hold myself back at the right uh, interval of rest and stuff, I don't get it. And I feel over time, this pain, I'm, it's, it's not exactly even a pain. It's more like an ache that comes up every now and then if I overdo my pull-ups or push-ups. Um, anything to do with shoulders. Um, it's probably something I fucked up back then when I was uh, going crazy over trying to learn pull-ups. And I was weak as well back then, uh, so I used improper mm -mm, forms, and that fucked up my shoulder. But with my recent, you know, doing the back stretches and all that stuff, with the mobility I'm doing, it's getting. I'm definitely feeling an improvement. Uh, the egg doesn't come back as often, and I'm starting to feel like much better compared to then. So it's improving, but yeah, still. I don't want to fuck up like today again, <laughs> like tonight um, with the sleep. I want to get more consistent with sleep because sleep, I feel, is the most important one. Uh, if I'm consistent with my sleep, I'm consistent with, with almost every other habit. So 11.30 tonight, I uh, wanted to run tomorrow, but with the looks of this, I would barely get like five and a half hours or six hours by tomorrow, 5.15, uh, which is kind of my deadline for waking up. Um, so if I f happen to feel rested when I wake up um, around 5.15 somewhere, I'll go for my run. But if not, uh, fuck it, man. I'll just, I'll just rest, man, because, I f because sleep is um, more important to me than even my runs. So, yeah, hard choice, but... I pick sleep over most things as long as it's not a life-threatening emergency. So that's the rule I made with sleep and I'll have to stick with that. So yeah, this is why I don't want to fuck up my sleep, uh, my bedtime. Anyways, let's check my weight. By the way, I'm very happy with my progress with the weight. I have, um, yep, look at that, 68.4. So I am now safely under 69 this week. And when I weigh myself in the morning after my run today, I was almost at 66.9. So next week, under 68, safely under 68 would be my target. And I feel I would be able to hit it as long as I maintain my um, normal activities, runs, my pull-up push-ups and everything. So that's the goal. All right, man, to the, tonight fucked up my sleep again, but it was a great day. And yeah, <laughs> that's all I got to say. No excuses. I did fuck it up. Um, although I did uh, get busy with something, um, but still no excuse to uh, not prioritize sleep over what I could have easily prioritized over. So that's it. Good night. See you guys tomorrow.